Why do you hate broccoli but love coffee? Your brain is to blame. Taste isn't just about your tongue. It's a symphony conducted by your senses, your genes, and even your memories. Let's unlock the science of why we like what we like. It all begins with your taste buds. These tiny receptors scattered across your tongue can detect five basic tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. But taste alone only sketches the outline of flavor. When you bite into a crisp apple or sip a rich espresso, most of what you perceive as taste is actually smell. The aromas travel up the back of your throat to your nose, where they're detected by hundreds of olfactory receptors, adding layers of nuance to every bite. Texture is another crucial player. Think about the creamy smoothness of chocolate or the satisfying crunch of potato chips. The way something feels in your mouth can make or break your enjoyment. That's why some people recoil from slimy okra, while others embrace the chewiness of gummy candy. But the story goes even deeper, right down to your DNA. Genetics influence how sensitive you are to certain tastes, especially bitterness. Some people have extra sensitive bitter receptors, making foods like broccoli or Brussels sprouts taste overwhelmingly harsh. Meanwhile, others barely register the bitterness and happily pile their plates high. Then there's the expectation effect. Your brain is constantly guessing what food should taste like based on past experiences, cultural cues, and even the color of your plate. If you expect a lemon to be sweet and it turns out sour, your brain registers surprise, and that can change your entire perception of the flavor. In the end, the flavors you crave and the foods you avoid are a blend of biology, experience, and psychology. So the next time you savor a favorite treat or turn your nose up at a certain vegetable, remember, it's not just your tongue making the decision. It's your whole self working together to create the complex sensation we call taste.